Patterson is with the ball. Here we go. Quarter final of the World Championships. The first one is an error of the service. Ouch. And I'm afraid you'll be hearing that song a little bit on the way. Out of play. That has straight out of play. So two points in favor of Brazil. Chance here, reverse set, it's down and off the block, and it's one to the USA. Well, that is uh, now a chance for Jake, Jake Kidd. Okay, this is to level it up. Patterson is from three meters, though. Here's Marco down the middle, and he just finds a corner. Wow, that is an absolutely beautiful lob there from Marco, uh, from uh, Bruno Schmidt. Lovely shot right on the edge of the line. Good serve. And that comes off the tape and down, and Brazil have started really well here. A 4-1 lead in this opening set. They are looking very, very solid. A few errors from the USA, starting with that serve error, of course. And that's a two meters back, and it was just a little bit too far. The joust at the net goes to USA. And this time it is touched down by Casey Patterson. Two, four. But uh, they're needing to recover. In terms of the actual seedings, the Brazilian pair are number three. The United States at 14, so they are the underdogs. But they're in fabulous form at the moment, but that is a really, really poor double service problem for the U.S. They'll change at five. Uh, sorry, at seven. Five-two is the score. Seven points for the first two. And thereafter, if they get to a third, it's five. Bruno Schmidt has got the ball for the service here, so just a little adjustment, <laughs> helped a bit by Casey, I don't want to get it down too much, I don't want it moved in the wind of course, Casey is about two meters back but he doesn't kill it, Bruno's down the line and it's a beauty, I tell you what his accuracy is really really impressive. The Red Bull hat, of course. We've got Red Bull Media House involved in this beach tournament. On the production side and distribution, of course, of the signals you're getting now. 6 twos to score Brazil. Charging away like a Red Bull. That's a lovely shot. Oh, it's still up. No, out of play. Wow. <laughs> That really was very, very close. Casey Patterson looking around as if to say, no, it couldn't have been up. And they were very lucky. It's 6 3. Jake Kibb. Hey! That's way out. Again, he's, he's trying that jump spike from uh, two or three meters back. It's not easy. He's not that tall, actually, relatively speaking, at six feet one inch, 185 centimeters. Boy, that is really impressive. I'm not certain. I don't think it actually went over the net. Let's have a look. Uh, I don't think it actually went across the net. 
It happened so quickly, there's huge power. 70 kilometers an hour, that one was hit. Same distance, but look at the result. Oh, oh. it's a huge hit. 7-5, it will be Alison that goes back for the service here. Alison and Bruno have been together for one year, well, since 2014, so they're in their second season. Oh, that's left. <laughs> Doesn't need power all the time, sometimes it's placement, and on that occasion it left out right down the centre. It's yours. 8-5. <laughs> Another good lob, and that is a big hit, but what a fabulous, fabulous block. And Alisson points to his partner, Bruno, and says, hey, okay, really good service. That is a fabulous block, isn't it? He is such a big, big player, and of course, Undefeated in the ch championship so far. They have won all of their matches by two sets. Uh, no, actually, check that. Pereira from, well, representing Qatar now, where Sherif took a set from them. Took the first set, 23-25. So they've only played one set, to, uh, one uh, match to three sets. But everything else has been two sets and they're just showing such confidence at the moment Alisson and Bruno okay it's a timeout called by the USA 10-5 right, of course and it's just after they've changed I'm going to sit down at the airline seats of course Transavia and even a hostess standing behind them the USA really need as much support as they can get they know they're very well but they're on the other side the brazilians are quietly confident and they have every reason to be they have played a fabulous start to this one there they are the trans hostess and uh, basically, there's no sun now, so they don't need the umbrellas. They've flown all the, the beach girls who we'll see performing in a while. They've flown them up from Madrid. And I'm sure as a sponsor, they'll be very, very welcome. There they are, the new logo on the front of each of the shows. So, Alison with the service, 10-5. Out of play. Outside ball. Oh, this is uh, this is looking a little serious for the USA team here. This will be their first loss in two tournaments if they lose. Yeah, great angle by Jake Gibb. Fabulous angle. Well, the story of Jake Gibb is legendary in volleyball. He's had cancer twice, melanoma removed from his shoulder, and he's also had testicular cancer back in 2012. He's recovered from that, and he's back on the circuit again at the age of uh, 39. It's unbelievable. Most inspirational player back in 2013-2012. He's many other honours to his name. Here's Bruno. Not wide, and he's missed that one. And Casey is not at peace with himself at the moment. Casey Patterson. Obviously, he loves the score. He's hugely disappointed when he misses a chance, but this is uh, this is getting pretty serious. From the moment he missed that first service into the net, he knew there was going to be pressure on. It's 13-6 with Bruno. Just over. Uh-oh, and a hand of apology is raised, but wow. 
Well, it's no wonder he would be happy if he played that one over the top for 14-6. The only consolation at the moment, the USA can take a technical break after this one. And it's out. Oh, it's not. It's on the line. 73 kilometers. Wow. That is... They take a technical now, 73 kilometers an hour, and that is really, really impressive. Bruno Schmidt is, well, he is the second player, but I tell you what, in terms of his performances, he gets targeted with the serve, and he comes up and plays so many great spikes. And he's got a very, very good dink over the top as well. There's our Spikey giving out some lovely gifts. He's had a great week. He's a little bit far from home, though, it has to be said. He's about an hour and a quarter from the sea, our seagull. East of the sea, about an hour, hour and a quarter. They are loving it. Big atmosphere all the way around, and of course we have Dr. Ari Grassa, the president of the FIVB, here this evening. So he is, well, he's been uh, having some photographs on the top of the town hall. He's been talking to a lot of people and certainly congratulating the Netherlands on a fantastic world championship. With all four cities involved, of course, he... Uh, it means that every player has centre court experience at every match. It's extraordinary. 7.15. Is it time for Jake to do something here? Uh oh, well, he didn't need to do it. It's a double touch. <laughs> Alison Cerruti at the, uh, at the referees. Look at this. A double touch is called. Ooh, I'm not so certain about that. Maybe. Well, he just held on a bit long, maybe. But hey, it's been given. That's all that matters. 8:15. Watch out, Saruti's going to hit this one. <laughs> you betcha. It was going to be huge. We knew it was. Alison Saruti. He was really annoyed about that decision, and that is the result of it. Big stuff. Down the middle here for Casey, and he's missed it because that is blocked back from Allison. He is just such a big unit, isn't he? Such massive shoulders. It's not just his height, it's the whole physique. Absolutely extraordinary. Of course, he won the World Championship in Rome in 2011 with Emmanuel Rego. And that experience, of course, serves him well. And he just is such a formidable opponent. The big, big incentive, the biggest incentive of all is if they win it, they get an automatic through to Rio 216 at the Olympic Games. They will definitely represent Brazil if they win this tournament. What an incentive. Copacabana, here we come. 9-18. Oi, that wasn't so great. See, the big thing, they change ends again, but the big thing is that they're on the service, they're targeting Bruno Schmidt, as, as you can see, is significantly smaller. He's very, very quick around the court, that's for sure. But Casey will definitely put this to Bruno. It'll be cross court to the onto the right side. There you go. Which means Bruno has to take now the third shot. Ah, it's a beauty, though, isn't it? What a great, great weight on the ball as well. The angle is perfect. It's 19-10. There's not a great deal that the USA can do about this assault by Brazil. Here is Bruno Schmidt. Well say, Bruno. Got it again down the left post. It's still in play directly from Jake. Oh, here we go. 
Yes. <laughs> that set point to Brazil. Alisson will not need to be asked twice to get that one down with power. Great pick up there, Bruno. And that is the opportunity there. We come back in again and it's killed now. The referee will wait for our... Yeah, there you go. Waits for that highlight. Now it's set point, Brazil. Casey comes for it. Two metres back down the line, it's in. It's good work for 11. Yeah, great work. And that really is quite surprising. I'm not sure Jake actually touched that. It might have been... Let's have a look. Did it come straight off the net? Yeah, it was off the net. I didn't think he'd crossed it. Yeah, it was a big hit, but of course, they got so many points in the bank at the moment. 12-20, it's still set point, Brazil. Watch out, this is the one. Down the line, it's a tip over the top. Beauty. And that is set to Brazil. 21-12, and they certainly have started with extraordinary confidence. And at 21-12, you just have to say that U.S. are being annihilated at the moment. Wow. Extraordinary. Yeah, that is just a phenomenal first set. Gibb and Patterson have got to find something here. Let's have a little look at it. There's not much to say except it was far too good from Bruno and Alisson. Well, that's a good play there from Jake, but uh, ultimately they are finding too many opportunities to score, they're finding too many gaps. There you go, that's the story, just look at that attack stat. 53 over 28, errors plus three to the uh, USA. That will not be looked at with any kind of confidence at all. What are they going to do in the second set? They've got to change their strategy. And there, once again, the sun just disappearing, going close to the town hall. A magnificent building, and all kinds of civil matters are dealt with there. We've got our press center over there. And, uh, well, the USA, certainly with their flag, trying very, very hard, but uh, still in the sun. It's 21-12 in the first to Brazil. Here we go with Casey has made another mess of the first serve, of the second set. The first one was into the net, the second one, and he's tried way long. One love, Brazil. Watch again here. Jake has got a big one and makes the uh, forces the error off the block. Uh, no way that that's going to be taken back either. Uh, they're, they're just too clever. They are really, really switched on to the opportunity. Just look at that. He shaped up the play a big hit. Kept the, the, the blocker there. There's not mu as much peeling off the block in the men's game. Uh, and that's out of play, my goodness. And their confidence is absolutely blown. Hey, well, if they were, if they were Dutch, you'd probably say immediately, Kuka Boka, because they are really not playing at all well. Oh, and another one. Panna Cook there for Casey. Casey Patterson really has been shot. I can't believe it. Playing so, so badly at the moment. It's extraordinary.
Well, you saw an ironic smile there, but look at this at 4-1. It is absolutely soul-destroying. Watch that, and there was a touch, was it, at the net? It was. I thought, yeah, Allison got too close. He got too close. So a little relief there for the USA. You saw the touch. Oh, man. There's very little to be said. I'm sure that he will be full of things to say, but not on television. Well, this is a big surprise, I have to say. They've changed this time, and, uh, well, Gibb and Patterson need to get their act together because Brazil are absolutely destroying them. 5-2. Bruno gets it. That's better, that's better. Change of fortune. Sun has gone behind the little cloud. Whatever sun there was, they've got behind them. And now, on the angle from the left post, they get that ball down. 3-5. Are we going to see now a little recovery? Allison is at the line on the right now, but look at this. It's a reverse set. Beautiful angle. Wow, what a hit. He's back live. 6 3. Okay, that's better. Jake Gibb, I tell you, he is fired up. He doesn't want any excuses. They had a fantastic win last week in St. Petersburg in Florida. $57,000 they picked up for that one. Oh, <laughs> he's, that's extraordinary. He's leaving it to him. Unbelievable. Bruno just said, OK, you carry on. I'll be out here just watching. <laughs> that's extraordinary. 7-4. It's just out. Just out, and Jake is complaining about that, I can tell you. He says it caught the line. I think it... Yeah, I think he has over, overruled it. Well, that is... Uh, I think that's fair. That is fair, because it certainly was very close to the line. It must have touched the outside of it. 5-7. Comeback time. Jake. Over the top, nice pick up there, Casey. Here's a chance to kill. It's not dead yet. Oh, you clever, clever. What a great rally this is. Great improvisation. Watch out. Watch out. Beautiful pick up. Here we go again. Too close. What a joust at the net. And Jake Gibb has won it with a single-handed joust against Alisson, and maybe that will make the difference. Maybe that's the inspiration that they required right there. Just look at this. What a finish to the rally. This little bit up there, yeah, good fallback. I said they don't peel, didn't I? That was a great peel. What a shot. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Hello, Jake. I think you're pumped. Wow. Gee whiz. That was exciting. 6-7. Out of play for 7-all. They'll change at 7s. Wow. OK. Suddenly, we see a change of attitude, a change of fortune. Alison is saying, OK, calm down. Let's not get caught up in, the, in this real atmosphere. But I can tell you now, Gibb and Patterson are really pumped. Jake particularly. Whoa, whoa, you wouldn't want to uh, cross him right now, I tell you. He'd take you apart. Good controlled serve, though. Bruno's there. But what a block! I told you he was up for it. Oh, yo, hey! <laughs> they are not out of this. If you thought they were, watch out. 
11 seasons, 96 tournaments, 6 career wins. Gibb is on fire. Great service, but what a pickup. And that is too good. They know they're caught. Bruno does brilliantly. That is a real shot into space, and of course, it, it means that they are got back into level terms. Eight all. The wind has got up, it's swirling around, they'll have to watch it. And that is out, right out of play. And that is USA at 9 8. The wind, wow, I tell you, it is really coming from behind the USA at the moment. It's really blasting quite strongly. There you go, the serve is good. Out. Oh, no, in the corner. Jake Gibb was hoping it was out, but it was in the corner. Nine all. Nice shot again from Bruno Schmidt. Look at that one. Great shot. Beautifully placed. It's nine all. Bruno will be making this one. Shoes, he's going to the straight line. FIVB world champs. Hashtag, why don't you join us? The conversation is really, really good. Brazil have won that one. 10-9. Going all over the world with FIVB TV, of course. Many channels are taking it around the world. Jake is... Not got it down this time, but that's a long way back. Oh, yeah. And that set from Alisson Zaruti was not good enough for Bruno to take advantage. It's leveled up at 10 all. They'll, they'll take a break right after that. And that looks, actually, with storm clouds building up there above the Rathaus, you can see that there may well be some lightning. If that happens, we'll get off the court. It happened three, four times last week in St. Petersburg in Florida. They cleared the entire court. Jake has lost concentration there, and he will have to go and take a break now because it's a technical timeout. A full minute now, and, uh, well, we've had such extraordinary weather. Beautiful, beautiful weather for a week, but after all the heat, you tend to get the thunder and the lightning as well to go with it. But at the moment... All the thunder and all the lightning is coming from Brazil. They're in the lead by one set to love. And uh, certainly, they're putting on a big, big battle in the second set. We love it. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's the women who are taking photographs today. That's unusual. It was the men yesterday. Up she goes in a split. Oh, my goodness me. That is extraordinary. The girls, the beach girls, Transavia brought them up from Madrid, they're being super. Carmen, Melania, Patricia, Sandra, Delia, Clara, Rocchio and Elena. We've seen a lot of them throughout the week, literally and metaphorically. Eleven ten. It's Alison. Good chase. Lovely chase. That is really good chase from fabulous Patterson. Gibb then takes advantage of it by, by just tipping it over onto the right corner. There, that's lovely. Well, that was Casey. It's tight. The second set is really competitive. Unlucky. Twelve, eleven, and again, it's a lovely placement. Look at that. The knuckle punch from Bruno Schmidt. Twelve, eleven. It's a big hit too far. It's twelve all. Casey. Well, that's interesting because uh, Jake for the serve puts his hand, hat on backwards. It, if it goes to a third, he normally puts a blue hat on. 
Oi, 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 Alison, my goodness me. Second shot. The power of the man. Look at that. That is out. Well called. Nice call from the US. Level at 13s. And really, the lights in the four corners are being required at the moment. It's quite a heavy cloud overhead. Uh oh. Well, he's got the power, and he can. He's a beautiful setter of the ball as well. On that occasion, the spin of the service beat him. 14-13, USA. Uh, he's not going to make it. Jake gave up on that one and was unlucky. Casey just looked at him and thought, you know, you're not going to run for that, are you? Trying to get out of his way, but he hadn't even started to run for it. Unless he anticipates it, no chance of getting there. 14 all. Change sides. Casey jinks over the top, but that's saved. Watch out here. Still in play. Nice work from Jake. Casey goes up to try and protect it, but that was on the line. It's a beautiful shot. Oh, my goodness. That is real power. Watch this. Fantastic shot right on the line. Great depth. Superb technique. 15-14. Casey crouching to receive. There it goes to him. And that was not clever. Keeps in play. Here is once again Bruno. He misses. Jake won't miss. Oh, he has. He's missed off the block. Oh, oh dear. Wow. Alisson, when it counts, you can rely on him. It was a lovely peel off by Jake Gibb to keep it alive, but then he tried a little bit hard down the line. And Alisson has got that one covered. The red bearded Red Bull. And I tell you, that was. That's real love. Mm. <laughs> what a great shot. We've had fabulous coverage by our host broadcaster. Thank you so much. All week. Great shots. Yes, you should be happy to be in Appledorn. <laughs> yeah, the Winks, why not? It's a, a huge celebration tonight. The Appledorn Festival of the Week has been superb. Two years in the making, and they'll be all very proud of themselves. What a glorious face that is. Wow, what a pretty, pretty girl. What's your name? It's not raining, is it? No. It's not raining. The sun's not up. And now, serves up for Team USA. Here we go, 16 14. It's Casey. Casey makes it off the block for 15 16. Well, this really is a place for families, I can tell you. Quite wonderful sport being played all around Appledon. They pride themselves on it, and that is so hard, so tough. So important there, 17-15. He's the real deal, isn't he? Alison Conte Saruti. Yeah. You can tell they get on so very, very well. Still in play. Casey back a little bit and he plays it out for 18 15. It's out of play. Wow. Well, Alisson has uh, played in 42 FIVB World Tour final fours, 12 gold, 
13 silver, 11 bronze is his uh, partner, 19 FIB World Tour, 3 gold, 6 silver, 4 bronze. Do you know, we need this match to be over, otherwise they're going to call it off, because I saw a big, big lightning, big lightning strike there, 16-18, and we will be getting a storm in just a couple of moments. I can feel... You yeah, can feel the spots of rain right on me here. And that is out of the block, and that is now 19-16. and above the glockenspiel of the Rathaus, it is really dark. The lightning may even come close enough to give it a ring. And the boom camera gives us a lovely perspective there, but Bru um, Bruno does really, really well. Chance here for Casey. And he makes it. Lovely cross court, 17-19. USA are still in this. Seventeen nineteen, and again the storm is really threatening here oh that is an absolutely stunning shot did you see that absolutely extraordinary look at that come here i need to cuddle you what a shot here from bruno oscar schmidt it's a stunning one for match point 20 points to 17 alison will serve but of course the usa will be receiving the side out, so they get the first attack. It's no good. Bruno's giving it. Bruno takes it, and Bruno wins it. Wow! Superb play by Brazil. They have taken this contest, really, without raising too much of a sweat. Too strong in the attack. Too big in defense from Bruno, particularly. But wow, I didn't expect to see Jake Gibb and Casey Patterson capitulating like that so, so readily. It was a much better second set, but Brazil thanked the crowd, and I tell you what, they will be on their way to the semi finals in The Hague with great confidence. That was superb. What a match! The crowd have really enjoyed it, and you can see the raindrops coming down. Even if we have to have a little break now, at least we got through the first match. 21-12, 21-17, victory to Brazil. What a deserving match they played. Jake, well, he'll be pretty gutted by that because he never really got into it. Even in the second set, they weren't there. Let's have a look. Yeah, even when he's dinking or he's power playing or he's blocking, Alisson is such, there you go, he's such a powerful force. Over the top, into the corner this time. It's a fabulous shot from Bruno. Another one cross court, as we saw Jake going off to the left. This is one thing that I, look at that, that's so good. Okay, well, at last the rain has come. We hadn't expected it today, but uh, look at that. The whole match stats, 55% over 33 in the attacks. More errors for USA, more blocks just for Brazil. They certainly deserve that. It was stunning. So, yes, Br yes Bruno Smith, for the last time in Avaldoorn, you'd win the quarterfinal against uh, the guys of USA, Team USA. How about this match? Uh, could have been better for us. <laughs> How can I say? Uh, we played strong, the both sets. <laughs> they, they turned pretty well in the second. We made a lot of points in the first, yeah, but like we, we, we still fo we still pretty focused and strong mentally for the second. This is the more important to when we go to play against those guys, the American. They know a lot how to play. They know a lot how to uh, uh, fight some power, fight some strategy. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy for that. Uh, I'm gonna miss Alpedor a lot, a lot. We've been playing pretty good with this crown right here. Thank you, Alpedor. It was amazing being here. Couldn't be better. 
And I hope the Hague is, is we can play, uh, continue playing like we are playing here. And it could be better change for the Hague in that position, playing the final fours. All right, congratulations. And first of your words, you do not agree with your own level today? Sorry, I do not. You do not agree with your own level today? It wasn't okay, you said? No, it was actually. Uh, uh, we just like, we, we lost a, little, a few balls in the second set, but uh, the most important that we, we, we continue, you know what? The, we knew that they did not going to play like they played in the first set. And this was the most special because we, we won like with other uh, advantage in the first, but we, we, we continue playing like this strong. And we, like I said, they, we knew that they, they were going to change something for the second set. So that's the most special. We keep strong, uh, we play strong the, uh, until the end. So could it be better now change for the Hague in the, the fin same finals? All right, thank you very much and good luck at the Hague. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. So, Martin Westerlink with the, uh, the questions there, and the, the Packamax are going on, and, uh, well, we've not been used to seeing rain the whole week, so I guess it had to end somehow. But the, the, there, the rain in front of the Glockenspiel on the Rathaus there, I have to say, it's, uh, it won't be for too long, I'm sure. We'll, uh, we'll be through it very quickly. But we've got one more match to bring you. It's going to be the uh, other quarterfinals for women in just a while.